Good morning, Metalheads. Welcome to another episode of Thrash Talk. Today we are reviewing one of the great San Francisco-based thrash metal bands. It's called Death Angel. They are formed in San Francisco, California. The SAS is active. Formed in 1982, originally as Dark Theory in the same year. And the genre is thrash metal. The lyrics contain violence, rebellion, insanity, supernatural evil, death, society, and religion. And the current label is Nuclear Blast Records. Here are the notes about the band. The Filipino act, originally comprised of teen cousins, guitarist Rob Kavinsky, Dennis Pepper on bass, and Andy Gillian on drums, marked in their individually with a good degree of technicality, and soon carve out of the niche fan base within the San Francisco me metal scene. Although the band came together in 1982 briefly billed as Dark Theory prior to the adopting of the Death Angel title from the book cover. It would be five years before the first album, the widely admired, admired The Ultraviolence. During the time of the band, guitar original vocalist Dennis still performs on vocals on the song Thrashers, which is has to be set to on the set list staples since 1983 before Mark Alzagulta, I don't have to how you pronounce it, joined the band. Andy Galeon was 10 years old when he joined the band in 1982. All Death Angel members from the 80s and 90s lineup are related by blood. Mark Ozagura left Death Angel for the final gig in Omiya, Japan, or Omiya, Japan, in April 1991, following the split and remaining members performing a few shows in the Bay Area as the past. Doing acoustic sets in the summer of 91, they changed their name to the organization. In 2001, Death Angel have reunited after 10 years of silence when they did a one-time reunion gig at the Thrash, and Thrash of the Titans Festival, which was held for Testament's Chuck Billy. This festival was held to order to raise money for Chuck's ongoing battle with his cancer. Death Angel were reunited only for, for one time. But they decided to reunite because, according to them, they missed the feeling for, of entertaining and love making music. Death Angels are one of many thrash metal bands to sign a major label having to sign to Gavin Records in 1989. Alright, so the band released nine studio albums. The albums are 1987, The Ultraviolence. 1988, Frolic Through the Park, 1990, Act 3, 2004, Art of Dying, 2008, Killing Season, 2010, Relentless Retribution, 2013, The Dream Calls for Blood, 2016, The Evil Divide, and 2019, Humanicide. Alright, that's another episode of Thrash Talk. Coming up, we're reviewing violence. Have a good day, metalheads.